components should not occupy the same space, so contacts between components should be stiff. However, stiff contact is often difficult to work with in numerical analysis. This often requires smaller time steps, more numerical iterations, and ultimately a longer time to get a result. Therefore, most FEA tools allow some flexibility in the contacts to make it easier and faster to solve. When two components occupy the same space, we call this overclosure. In previous releases of SOLIDWORKS simulation, contacts are stiff. Thin plates of material are stiff, and it can take a lot of force to compress and make them thinner. Diamond is also stiff. Its elastic modulus is about five times that of steel. Contact stiffness in previous releases of SOLIDWORKS simulation can have 10 times the distributed stiffness of a one millimeter plate made from diamond. 10 times. This high stiffness helps maximize overclosure in your models and should yield accurate contact behavior in most scenarios. However, this high stiffness can come at a computational expense of longer solve times. To help speed up contact problems, you can adjust the stiffness by going to your static analysis study properties and adjusting this slider. If you leave the slider set to default, the contact behaves like the previous release of SOLIDWORKS simulation, but the stiffness can be reduced from the 10 time diamond we mentioned before all the way down to copper to make your contact problems faster. We tested some common contacts to see how much difference it would make. Here are spherical, which starts out as a point contact, cylindrical, which starts as a line, and finally a flat surface. The contact pressures in these cases look very similar between the high stiffness and low stiffness studies. Displacement results show a clearer difference between these three models. The flat geometry made of steel will have a stiffness that rivals the lower contact stiffness. So we see more deviation in the results because of this. Finally, if we look at solve times, we saw a large difference. When using the low stiffness, our simulation is about three times faster. This can be a huge savings in your static assembly analysis. We also tested contact between the pin and these plier arms. Look at the pin. The contact pressure's difference was much larger due to the nature of the pin shaft and the hole having similar diameters. So the softer contact allowed the pressure to spread out more on the surface of the pin. However, when we look at the stresses, it's harder to notice much of a difference in our peak stress areas. Displacements like before seem to be more sensitive in this case. Softer contact in the fulcrum of the pin can likely yield to large deviations far away from the pin, like in these arms. And finally, the time savings, while not as significant as our structured scenario before, was still enough for helping us to run quick design iterations in our assemblies. Download SOLIDWORKS 2023 and try out our new contact stiffness scale factors on some of your assemblies today.